In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create listings on Amazon using the product information you already have in your OpenCart store. To create a new listing, log into your admin dashboard. From there, navigate to Extensions, and then choose Open Bay Pro, and click on Manage Items. This lists all of your products in your OpenCart store. To choose a product, click on the grayed out Amazon icon under the Markets column. If the icon is already green, it means that the item is already linked. When you are creating a new listing, you need to check if it is already in the Amazon catalog. Since many sellers could be selling the same item, Amazon only allows a single listing for it and allows sellers to compete on price. So on the first page, when adding a new listing, you'll see a search box. Use this to try and find the item you are listing. You can use anything to search, including the product name, universal part code, European article number, ISBN, or Amazon ASIN number. You also need to choose the market you'd like to list your item in and then click search. If the product you want to sell is found, click the list link on the far right side. Using a product in the Amazon catalog is the easiest option, as you only need to edit a small amount of information to create the listing. The required information tab will be pre-populated with any data you have in your open cart, such as the SKU and price. If you want to see the best price that item is selling for currently, click the Get Amazon Price button. Listing at a lower price will give you a higher chance of selling over competitors. Make sure that you have the appropriate information entered in all of the required info fields, and you can also fill in additional information in the Additional Options tab. You can enter in notes about the condition, whether or not there's a sale price and what dates the sale applies to, when the item will be available, and also when the item will be restocked. When you're ready, click the List on Amazon button. You'll now be taken back to the Manage Items page and you'll see that the icon for the product is now orange. This means that the product is processing for upload. If you're listing a product that you're sure doesn't exist in the Amazon catalog, click on the Create New Product button. To add a new product to Amazon, you'll need a product code such as a UPC, ISBN, EAN, or GTIN. Without this code, Amazon will usually reject your request. If your product doesn't have one of these codes, you can contact Amazon to get advice on how to proceed. In some cases, they may allow you to list without a product code. First, choose the marketplace that you'd like to list the product in. Then choose the Amazon category, and wait for the new options to load. Amazon may restrict selling in some categories. You will need to contact your Amazon support team to get permission if this is the case. If you try to list in a restricted category, an error will be returned after you upload. When you've chosen your category, there will be additional tabs and options for you to add your product information to. Required fields are highlighted for you, but we advise that you add as much information about the new product as possible. The better your description, specifications, images, and other details, the higher the chance of your item selling. Once you've gone through each tab and option, you're ready to upload the product to Amazon. If you have multiple products to upload, then just press save, then repeat the process to add your next product. When you're ready to upload on your last product, press save and upload. Your products are now being processed and sent to Amazon. Uploading a new product can take up to 15 minutes, and during the upload process, the item will show as an orange processing icon under Open Bay Pro in the Manage Items section. If Amazon rejects the new listing, the icon will turn red. You can now click to edit the product again if this is the case. At the top of the page, you'll have an error message from Amazon informing you what the problem is. Once you correct the problem, you can save and upload again. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and subscribe to our channel.